several hours later. I've moved them all. Hey, LS11 Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to Pokemon Black and White. Last time, we shut off the Pokemon Transfer Facility, where we brought over every single Pokemon from Bulbasaur to Arceus. I did that off-screen, though. For the most part. Now we're here in Castelia City, because if you guys remember when we transferred Celebi, it said maybe we should bring it to Castelia City. We got a bit of a surprise for you guys after we've done this as well. I want to say it's Battle Company. And I very well could be wrong. And I am wrong. But let's see here. I will be totally honest. I don't remember where to go. I don't think it's in this alleyway, though. I did this once when I was a young lad in elementary school. So it's not here either. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out together. I cannot believe we're already a minute into the episode, though. Maybe it was this building. Once you've cleared Team Plasma out of it. No. But yes, we have that Celebi in our party because of this. I'm on a bike because I cannot remember for the life of me where I'm supposed to go. So we're gonna go into every building in in Castelia City and hopefully be done with Castelia City soon. Because if we're not, I know we have to come here at least one more time. And this place is one of the reasons. But we're not doing that just yet. As my journey to complete the Pokédex again continues. Look, man, I just want to frame another certificate and put it on my wall. It's going to go right next to the journalism article I got published a few weeks ago. That should be a week ago at the time you guys are seeing this. I try and think of how long ago it would have been. Okay, not in here. Well, we're exploring more of Castelia City, finally. At least there's that. And... and the fact that I have this Celebi means that I've had this Celebi since 2010. Okay, it's not in here either. It's a building that's going to look like this in the lobby, though. Maybe it's this one. Here we go. The little boy got lost. He looks so lonely. So please talk to him. If you have Celebi in your party. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, that little boy was really Zoroa? So cool. It looks like Zoro and Celebi are really good friends. I'm sure Zoroa wants to go with you and Celebi. Yes, we will take Zoroa. Trainer, do you have a Pokeball? Pretty sure we do. Hang on. Wow, we don't have just a regular Pokeball. So, Zorba? Get in the Premier Ball, buddy. Zorba joined the party. If I had a clever nickname, I'd give it a nickname, but we'll just leave it at Zoro for now. Zoro had been waiting for Celebi here. Now I'm relieved. And Celebi gets back in there, so Pokeball as well. And yeah, that means that we now have Zorua on our team. It's a level 10 when you get it, because I mean, you could have gotten it super early in the game. But now, Celebi will say it finally met its friend Zoro at Castelia City safely. With that... Okay, 2011 is when this came out, excuse me. So, when I started YouTube, wow. Um, you can no longer use this Celebi to get a Zoro. If you have friends with this game, sorry, but you can't. Now then, I will meet you guys at the next place we need to go, because you saw we had Suicune in our party as well. And now that I actually know where the forest is... Let's get her going! So, now that we're back in Nimbasa City, we actually 
want to go the same way we're going to go to the Pokemon Transfer Lab, which is exactly where I wanted to go last episode, so I'm glad we got there. Another Pokemon outbreak. I didn't see what that one was, though. Oops. There is actually a reason I cut past that battle. Okay, maybe I actually... Let me check the map. Because I haven't done this before, so... Yeah, I actually need to go up from where I am. So give me just a second. You didn't see that. Alright. TM66 payback, so I did not go the right way. I don't want to battle you, so turn. Now turn again. Wow! Did you guys see that double take? Ah! We want to go up in here into the trackless forest. Now it's actually really important that Suicune is at the front of the party for this. Because when you get close to the... Oh, I didn't save! The special woman attacked! What the? And yes, the Suicune we transferred is shiny. It's an event Pokemon. It's level 30. And, um... Is this gonna... If this works, I'm just going to laugh. Yep, we caught Raikou. Totally just caught Raikou. In all seriousness, that was actually Zoroark. It will be disguised as whichever legendary dog the shiny one you have brought is weak to. So in my case, it was Raikou because we got Suicune. Zoroark, the illusion fox Pokemon. Bonds between these Pokemon are very strong. It protects the safety of its pack by tricking its opponents. Why do you go to box 22? So this is Zoroark's home, then. Zoroark was using its illusions to trick people in Pokemon. It wanted to keep people away from its lair. I heard this place was suspicious, so I came to have a look, but it looks like I was tricked as well. Zoroark really reacted strongly to the Pokemon you have with you. There must be some history there. A quarrel or something. Such a beautiful field in a place like this. It's almost as if this lovely scenery is the illusion. And now the camper van is gone. I believe there's actually more we can do in Trackless Forest. I could be wrong. You guys gotta keep in mind, it's been years since I've done stuff in this game. Okay, we couldn't surf there. Okay, well, I will see you guys back at our next location. So now we're at the point in the game where I'm just kind of cleaning up the Pokédex. We're back at Victory Road now, and, um... I want to go in here. There's a thing we could have done last time we were in Victory Road, and I just opted not to do it yet. Because I wanted to wait, because I'd forgotten about it at first, to be honest. When we come down here... thought we used strength on this. Okay, so it turns out I couldn't do it in Victory Road yet. So we actually... Make sure I'm going the right way real quick. I haven't done this in years. Give me a, give me a bit of a break. Okay, I need to go back a little bit into Mistrailton Cave. But I don't have Ducklet in the party now, because because I don't want to keep lugging around an HM slave. That's the truth of it, really. Huh, I guess I've just never gone down that way before. Cool. I, you know, I'm no good at navigating Mistrailton, or really any of... Yanova, to be honest. Is this just going to send me in the charge stone? Or is this Miss Trailton? Pretty sure this is a uh, charge stone. Either way, we're spraying up a max repel. Got 
Guess it's as good a time as any, isn't it? Take this, the winning strategy I developed. Now that we're in the after game. Corky is about to get destroyed. Welcome to the All-Star Run. Every episode from here on out. How are you faster than me? I'm almost double your level. What the hell? Anyway, every episode, for the most part, we're going to be alternating between six Pokemon from our previous adventures, counting this one. So as you can see, Squirt, Reptor, Bell, Croissant, Walden, and Andros are our first team. Yeah, you feel you should feel down. You challenge someone with Pokemon, in some cases, three times higher level than you. That's where you get a magnet. I didn't realize that, or we would have had that already. Okay, we need to not be in Charge Stone, so we're going to have to go through it the normal way. And by the normal way, I, of course, do mean just leaving. However the heck we get out. This episode's a whole lot of nonsense. We caught Zoroark in one ball. So that's my takeaway from today. And we're finding stuff in here I didn't know was in here, so at least there's that. <laughs> okay, we have to have battled you. But yeah, I've decided that we're gonna... It's a lot more work on me, because I have to make new layouts for every single episode. And shift people around every episode, but... I thought an all-star run sounded fun, since this is the only time we're going to have access to six different teams at once. You may even see a special appearance by a Pokemon I said was officially a team member at the end of a Let's Play. You asshole. I don't want to battle you! You're, you're like half my level, it's no good to me anymore! Scientist Ronald? With your clink. Yeah, you're level 29. I'm level 50. In some cases, on two of these Pokemon, level 70. Asshole. But yeah, now we... But I, I kind of also wanted to do this. That way we could see some of the old Pokemon in this really cool 2D animation. Because I, I love the animation in Gen 5. Like, yeah, some of the Pokemon aren't that well animated. Like, Ludicolo is one that I know isn't well animated, but I don't have a Ludicolo that I used as a team member, so... It's fine. In fact, the Ludicolo I have is pretty low-leveled, if I remember correctly. Here we go. And this is what I was waiting for. There's Squirt. Here we go! Oh shoot, I... will be navigating this in the dark. Because I don't have anyone that can use Flash. I don't think I have Flash either. Actually, I do. And I hate to do this to one of my Pokémon. But I can easily take it off of them. Yeah, we'll get rid of a move on Bell for now. Just Walden's already got an HM, so let's get rid of Shadow Ball just for now. We can reteach Shadow Ball anyway. I've got the HM. I've got the TM for it. I'm pretty sure. And even if I don't, I can go find it. I just need to be able to see. I didn't realize the cave was gonna be dark. There we go. Go ahead and push it, Walden. But yep, yeah, I see. I was worried. Part of the reason I'm doing this is I was worried that the um, move, since the team from 
Soul Silver hadn't been reused in a series yet. I could have just reused them now. But I still don't think that would have caught me up because I'd have to reuse the team from Platinum at some point as well. So this lets me knock both of those out. And then the black team can be reused at some point. Hello. I did not mean to walk into you. Oh well. I'm chasing my dream and I'm fighting for victory. And there will be like a new team of All-Stars next episode and so on and so forth. But the, the actual like the rematch where we actually go face Alder at the Pokemon League... That'll be done with, like, the black and white team. That'll be done with Samurai, or that'll be done with Charles, and with Dwayne, Andros, Cuddles, Yogi, and Adam. That'll be done with them. But everything else, we'll just kind of run through it with random Pokemon from our past, because it gives us a chance to see them all again. Like, for example, we evolved um, Shade the Mistrebus into a Miss Magius in Platinum. We didn't really get to use Miss Magius besides when we were doing Roaming Legendaries. I can't catch that dream. And the after game's kind of where I'm okay with spoiling old Let's Plays because I kind of... Ooh, we can actually just get an item if I pop up here real quick. Hyper Potion. That'll actually probably come in handy at some point. Part of the reason I brought Bell along... Through... Did this just take me back around to where I started? What the hell? Where am I supposed to go? I apologize if you guys hear my toes crack on video every so often. I don't mean to do that. Um... Okay, this is Mr. Alton Cave, is it not? What the hell? Oh, I'm blind. Sorry, I'm not very good at Pokemon games. And it won't just be one Pokemon from every game during the All-Star run. It'll, like, we'll get two from some games sometimes. We might even just reuse a whole team at some point, if I decide to. Wait, I think there's probably an item down here. That'll actually probably come in handy. I know Pokemon well enough to know where items are sometimes. Yeah, unfortunately, we're still in Gen 5, which is... Gen 6 added one of the freaking best features of Repel's Effect War Off. Would you like to use another one? And that spoiled me because I did... You know, I did a Gen 6 game when I did Generation 3 because I just played the remakes. Same way that if, you know, remakes of Diamond Pearl had come out before I did uh, Gen 4, I would have done those instead. But even if they do remakes, I'll get around to them, probably. Now that we want to go up here. We're almost through this, uh... I saw your skills. It's impressive for one so young. Maybe you're the one. Hmm, it may be possible. How about it? Will you listen to an old man's story? In the distant past, when Pokemon and people lived in different worlds, a war between people started in an intense fire in a forest where many people lived. The Pokémon were surrounded by smoke and flames. They were in big trouble. And then the legends, Cobalion, Terrakion, and Verizion appeared. Terrakion used its amazing strength to block rocks building the escape route. Verizion used its quick movements to protect Pokémon from looming flames. And Cobalion led the frightened Pokémon out of the burning woods. The people who started the war were rooted by the power of the legends. Because of Cobalion, Terrakion, and Verizion, the war was ended. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. They cut themselves off from people and disappeared. No one saw much of them after that, and the three faded into myth. I've been searching for them for decades, and I finally figured out that one of them was deep in this cave. But the legendary three do not trust people. 
If people approach, they bear their fangs and attack. It can't be helped because they only know the old world. They still don't know the world has become a place where Pokemon and people try to understand and help each other. You seem like you might be able to show them that people and Pokemon can trust each other and live together. If they take another look at people, I think they'll stop hiding from us. Well. Wow. I do see that item. I'm just going to push this boulder real quick. Good job, Walden. Well, it looks like that's this episode's situation, doesn't it? Now then. Also, because I haven't done this in a while, let's save. Yeah, I'm at 21 hours of play time. I don't think I was that close when I, before I started transferring. And I also have 616 Pokemon, so we're in the Marvel Universe now. Pokedex is just showing Scene and Caught, but 493 of those at least we own. Over 500 of them we own, out of 680-something. Here we go. Come on! Cobalion! Starts at level 42, so we brought the right level Pokemon for this. Immediately. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. I believe Sacred Sword's actually a fighting type move, so we're good right now. But we want to use Thunder Wave. Now, I don't know the typing, so I'm going to do Thunderbolt, just because I think Psychic, especially with me having a Gardevoir, I feel like Psychic could one-shot. I didn't remember to go for the first turn Quick Ball, unfortunately. So now we're down to using Ultra Ball. We're in a cave, so Dusk Balls are going to be more effective. So let's start with a Dusk Ball. I don't know the catch rate on Cobalion. I assume it's probably three, like the rest of the legendaries. Like most legendaries, anyway. It's been a long time since I've fought a Cobalion. I, I actually haven't caught the Sacred Sword Pokemon in a long time. So we're going to be here for a little while, it seems. Unfortunately, I don't just have a weaker move with Bell, because I think another Thunderbolt would definitely knock this guy out. Worst case, we've got five other Pokemon if Bell just gets weakened down over time. But maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, man. I had a feeling that might be it. Although the music for fighting this Pokemon is actually some really good music. I like it. Whoa! Is it gonna work? Whoa! Oh, that's awesome! What we just witnessed there was a critical capture. The more Pokemon you have in your Pokedex, the higher chance you have of obtaining a critical capture, where the ball will only have to shake once and it has an increased chance of catching. Cobalion, the Iron Will Pokemon. This legendary Pokemon battled against humans to protect Pokemon. Its personality is calm and composed. Give any game to the Co Cobalion? No. Quit transferring to box 22. That's where I keep the other Pokemon. Hey, buddy. It seems, it seems that thanks to you, Cobalion has sensed a change in the world. It's a world where people and Pokemon help each other and live together. I believe Cobalion wants to remain with you and travel by your side. The fact that you battled Cobalion and related to each other should be easily communicated to Terrakion and Verzian because of the close bond between the three. I'm sure they will also give you a chance to prove your worth. The obstacles that separated Terrakion and Verzian from people are probably gone now. Whether you want to search for those two is up to you, but they are definitely waiting for you. I don't know the exact odds for a critical capture, but now that we've seen one, we have like a super high chance of getting one because of the fact we have four, you know, 500 out of 600 something Pokemon. In fact, how many do we have obtained? Just because I can't remember. Only 518. Also, I am scrolling down because I'm curious about something. And I'll mention it when we get to it. I'm just curious, and I'll bring it up whether it happens or whether it works or not. 
Jeez, how far on the Pokédex is it? Yeah! So, because the only kind of Gyarados I've ever brought into this game is a Shiny Gyarados, which is Ron the Red Gyarados from the Soul Silver Let's Play, um... Gyarados is registered as shiny in the Pokédex. I'm sure the other Pokémon that I have shiny versions of are in this game. Like Suicune, Sableye, um, Ambipom. Let's see, we have a we have a ton of escape ropes, don't we, from all the Lillipup? We have two. That qualifies as a ton. Alright, so with that, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokémon Black. Uh, next time we're going to go after the other two, Viridium and Terrakion, now that we know that the obstacles save or surrendering... Separating them from the rest of the world have been removed. Uh, we will probably stick with this team again next episode. One, so I don't have to do editing. And two, we've only, you know, had a chance to see one of them in action. Oops. If you like the video, leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of the series so far. And if you go, of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. It's easy to host me out. And I'll see you all tomorrow for more Pokemon Black with 100% less fungus. Xander out.